What's going on you guys? This is uh, MaxKD. I have another Dell Optiplex 3020. This is a small form factor and uh, this video will be a, the disassembled and tear down. So you're gonna, there's going to be two screws right here in the back. Remove them. Thumb screws. And remove the side cover panel. And you need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. I prefer you wear latex gloves. Something like this. Okay, so First off, we're gonna start off on the top. Okay, so remove the optical drive here. Disconnect the SATA and power to it. There's a little clip right here, press it up to remove the optical drive. Now, remove the front cover basil, really easy. There's little clips right here. Press them up gently and it removes it. This is the small form factor Dell Optiplex 3020. So we're gonna remove the, disconnect the SATIC cable, power cable for the hard drive. And there's a little clip right here, you gotta take it, press it to the left right here, turn it to the left to release the secure lock. Remove the caddy and just disconnect it, the tray, and just the clips right here for the caddy, plastic caddy, here it comes right out like that. Hard drive disconnected. Now, I'm gonna start off the air disconnect the memory here. The SATA cable for the hard drive, optical drive. Here's the power. It's got a secure lock clip right here, be really gentle, you gotta press it like this to release it because if you try to press on and you don't release it, it's gonna could damage the motherboard. It's just like up the secure lock in a minute, just press on and pull up pin. Disconnect the fan, see look, fan here, rear system fan. Right here looks like the front, okay. And now there's a little clip right here to move for the power supply. Get that disconnected. Now there's a you gotta use a flathead screwdriver right here. This is for the it's hold to it's a little secure right here. You have to remove that with the flathead screwdriver. You need that disconnected too. That's for the hard drive caddy plate right here. This is for the secure lock. Get that removed. Now I'm gonna disconnect the Heatsink fan here processor. And there's gonna be a little, there's a four pin connection. There's this in the middle, you guys, the same thing, secure pin. You gotta press on it to release it. Right here, you see? You press on it gently to release the lock. You see in the middle, there's a pin right here, you press it down to release it. And it's actually five pin, but it's a four wire connection for the fan, for the CPU fan. Now I'll disconnect the four pin right here. Turn this over here. You guys can see the better video. There are, let's see. And disconnect the wires in the bottom right here. One right there, the yellow one, and all the other connects here, the USB front panel. Right here, and uh, internal speaker front panel right there in the top corner get that disconnected right here and the audio right here get that disconnected now I'm gonna try to move the power supply there's gonna be three screws in the back one two three use a Phillips screwdriver to get it removed
Now you can move the power supply. There are secure lock right there. You see that right there in the middle, the blue right here. You press it down with the screwdriver to release the lock. And it comes right out. So here's the power supply. Now, remove the PCI brackets here. It's right here, the PCI brackets, low profile. Now I'm going to disconnect the motherboard. There will be one, two, three, four. There are four screws. Use a Phillips screwdriver to get it removed. One. Actually five is one in the middle right here in the top. Right here in the top in the middle there's another one here, so it's a total of five screws. Let's see how many other more screws are here. And disconnect all the wiring, make sure nothing there's no connectors connected to the motherboard. And there's another right here connector, get that disconnected. And the, f yeah, the power switch for here is in the corner guy, right here in the right top corner. That's where the power switch to turn on the motherboard on and off right here. It's gonna be right here, that the, it's a five pin it looks like right there, the header, where the battery's at. To remove the battery, really easy. Just, uh, there's a little clip right here. The battery comes right off. Use a flathead screwdriver. So disconnect the processor, that's it. Okay, we've got the processor disconnected. Here's the motherboard. Now, that's about it, guys. So I'm gonna leave the fan in the front because it looks like a rubber feed, but if you wanna get the front panel right here, there's one screw right here, get that disconnected and it comes right off with the USB and audio. The back plate, I assure is integrated, you can't get that removed. It's all empty. So that's about it guys. This is the Dell Optiplex 3020 small foam factor. Thanks for watching. Bye.